Of all the different creatures that can be found on the metal world of Cybertron, there are few more dangerous to the robots who live there than the ones we're looking at in today's episode. The menacing mini-monsters who eat metal, Scraplets. Scraplets were created by writer Bob Budiansky and artist Dawn Perlin for the original Transformers comic book published by Marvel. They were a species of tiny, parasitic, mechanical life forms who infected and fed on other mechanical life. To catch their victims unawares, they had evolved the ability to disguise themselves as innocent-looking objects like nuts and bolts. Once embedded in the living metal skin of a Transformer, they would gradually multiply, eating away at their host's body like a disease until there was nothing left. A case of scraplets was almost always fatal, though legend did speak of a cure, a chemical capable of killing scraplets that was so rare the Transformers doubted if it even existed. Now, the word scraplet was first used in the third issue of the comic in 1984 by the Decepticon Rumble as an insult directed at the human Sparkplug Witwicky. It was probably just a coincidence rather than an intentional callback when the word was reused for the name of the species when the creatures debuted two and a half years later in a two-part story told across issues 29 and 30 in 1987. In this story, a cargo ship sent from Cybertron to Earth by the Decepticons passed through a cloud of spaceborne scraplets on its journey, leading to the pilot becoming infected and the ship crashing in the Arizona desert. When the Decepticons, Astrotrain, Blitzwing and Octane, and the Autobots, Blaster and Goldbug arrived to investigate the crash, the scraplets infected them as well. The Decepticons took Blaster prisoner, but Goldbug escaped, and with the help of human Charlie Fong, discovered that the supposedly legendary cure was just plain old water, a substance that didn't exist on a metal planet like Cybertron. Hooking up with the Throttlebots, Goldbug went back to cure the others, but the Scraplets didn't take kindly to their food fighting back and merged themselves into a huge hulking monster, which the Autobots and Decepticons worked together to exterminate. After the end of the original comic, it would be a long time before Scraplets were seen again, though they would occasionally be mentioned, usually in a manner similar to the way Rumble had used the word, as a way to insult someone by comparing them to the little monsters. Eventually though, they started to appear in stories once more, the most influential of which was in 2011, when Scraplets made their TV debut in the Transformers Prime animated series. Now, the Scraplets featured in this show were rather different to those seen in the comic. Rather than parasites that gradually ate away at a Transformer's body like a disease, these were predatory creatures that rapidly devoured their victims, swarming them like piranhas and tearing them apart with their whirling saw-like teeth. They ate any and all metal, not just the living kind, though it was still their favourite. And though they lacked the transforming and combining abilities of the comic book Scraplets, they also weren't affected by water. They pick you apart from the inside out, going for the small, juicy bits first, fuse by fuse, circuit by circuit, till there's nothing left, not even your optics. In this series, a Scraplet trap that had been launched into space from Cybertron eons ago crashed on Earth in the Arctic, where the freezing cold kept the Scraplets inside dormant, until the Autobots discovered the trap and, not realising what it was, brought it back to their base. The Scraplets soon thawed out and began wreaking havoc, the Autobots all but helpless against them, even with the aid of their human friends until they were able to lure them through a ground bridge portal back to the Arctic, where the cold knocked them offline once more. In addition to a further appearance later in the series, when Jack Darby ran into another pack of the critters during a visit to Cybertron, this breed of scraplets also featured in assorted tie-in prime media like video games and comics. And at one point, there were even plans to release figurines of the little buggers as accessories in a two-pack of scraplet-damaged bumblebee toys, but these wound up being cancelled. 
Prime's new interpretation of the Scraplets would also heavily influence depictions of the creatures in other series, the first of which was IDW Publishing's comic books. IDW's stories featured two distinct species of Scraplets, one based on the Marvel version and another that drew inspiration from the Prime version. In the 2015 Transformers Holiday Special, a swarm of the former variety snuck aboard the starship Lost Light, where, to appear non-threatening to the crew, they disguised themselves by merging into the shape of a newborn Transformer protoform. Unexpectedly though, crew member Whirl took a liking to the protoform, and the Scraplets wound up imprinting on him. The Prime-inspired breed, here called Red Scraplets were introduced in the monthly Lost Light series in 2017, and were used by the mutinous Getaway to execute those who opposed him after he took over the ship. Quirrell's Scraplets were able to take command of the Red Scraplet Swarm, and led them in attacking Getaway, catching him off guard by merging themselves into the likeness of the Transformers god Primus, then eating him alive. Scraplets returned to TV screens in 2019 in the Transformers Cyberverse cartoon. The Scraplets seen in this series were created by Starscream, using the power of the life-giving Allspark to be his personal army. Driven insane by a near-death experience, Starscream believed that the Scraplets, which he called his children, held the resurrected sparks of ancient Cybertronian warriors. Much larger than any past depiction of Scraplets, these ravenous beasts almost helped Starscream destroy both the Autobots and the Decepticons, until Shockwave managed to reprogram the Scraplets and wrest control of them away from him. In conjunction with their appearance in the show, the first Scraplet toy was released as part of the Cyberverse toy line. Able to switch between four-legged and bipedal configurations, the figure had a push-button gimmick that activated a mouthful of spinning teeth. The same year, Scraplets were also featured in the RescueBots Academy cartoon, in which the young RescueBot recruits had to deal with a swarm that had come to Earth on a metallic meteor. Later in the series, the recruits were tasked with attempting to train some Scraplets. Most of the class gave up after a few failed attempts, but the studious medics persevered, and was able to domesticate them enough to have them help stop a power plant meltdown on Cybertron. Between comics, TV, and an action figure, the Scraplets' regular appearances throughout the 2010s have turned them into probably the most famous Cybertronian critters in the Transformers universe. And as we head into the 2020s, it seems likely we'll see the little pests again somewhere before too long. Just make sure you've got some water on you when we do. And don't forget, when it comes to Scraplets, there's never just one. And those are the basics on Scraplets. What's your favourite depiction of these tiny terrors? Sound off in the comments. Like and subscribe for more Transformers history and lore like this, and if you're able to, consider supporting the series on Patreon, where you'll get early access to new episodes. 